This short training video shows how to administer midazolam by the buccal or nasal route. It should be used as part of a recognised training programme for the administration of midazolam as a seizure rescue medication. Further guidance on what a recognised midazolam training programme should include is available at the end of this video. Buccal midazolam, also called oral mucosal midazolam, is used for prolonged epileptic seizures or sometimes for repeated seizures where there is a short recovery time in between them. Buccal midazolam is used to stop the seizure or seizures quickly within 10 minutes of it being administered. Midazolam given in this way works quickly because it gets into the bloodstream easily through the lining of the cheek or nose where it then travels rapidly to the brain. Everyone who has midazolam prescribed should have a midazolam management plan. This may be referred to by other names such as Individual Seizure Management Plan, Guideline or Protocol. The midazolam management plans will clearly state the strength and volume of midazolam to be administered. For example, 10 mg in 1 ml or 10 mg in 2 ml. Carers should check this prior to administration to avoid errors which could lead to over or under dosing of midazolam. The midazolam management plan should always contain the following information. A description of the person's seizure or seizures requiring buccal midazolam. When to give buccal midazolam. The route of administration, for example, buccal or nasal. The midazolam dose. If there is a second dose, and how much that should be. The maximum amount of midazolam that can be given in one day, when to call for emergency help, and who that should be. The midazolam management plan should be signed by the prescriber or epilepsy specialist nurse, and when appropriate, by a parent or guardian. Buccal midazolam management plans do not expire. However, they should be reviewed on an annual basis by an epilepsy specialist to make sure they are working well and to be discontinued if they are no longer required. There are three types of midazolam preparations available. These are Epistatis 10 mg in 1 ml pre-filled syringe Epistatis 10 mg in 1 ml multi-dose bottle Buccalam 10 mg in 2 ml pre-filled syringe all the pre-filled syringes are available in a range of doses and are colour-coded in the following way. Orange, 10 mg. Purple, 7.5 mg. Blue, 5 mg. Yellow, 2.5 mg. Pre-filled syringes are easy to use, but for some people, the bottle allows more accurate dosing. Before administering buccal midazolam, check that you have the person's midazolam management plan. Also, complete this pre-administration five-point check. 1. Do I have the right person? 2. Do I have the right medication? 3. Is the buccal midazolam still in date? If using a bottle, check the information leaflet for expiry instructions once the bottle has been opened. 4. How much do I give? And 5. Where does it go? Epistatis pre-filled single syringes come in individual, tough, tamper-proof cases. Open the case by tearing back the tamper-proof tab. Take the syringe from the case and unscrew the amber sheath to remove it. The syringe is now ready to use. An epistatis 10 mg in 1 ml bottle comes in a box with four oral syringes. Remove the bottle and a syringe from the box. Do not shake the bottle as bubbles can be formed. The bottle is opened by pushing the lid down and twisting it. Insert the syringe into the bung in the top of the bottle and turn the whole bottle upside down. The plunger can then be pulled back to draw up the prescribed amount of midazolam. Check the syringe does not contain bubbles. If it does, extend the plunger fully before pushing all the midazolam back into the bottle to remove the bubbles. Then redraw the prescribed amount again. 
Turn the bottle to the upright position and remove the syringe. The syringe is now ready to use. Buckalam pre-filled syringes come with four pre-filled syringes in a box. Each individual syringe is contained in a clear plastic tube. To remove the syringe from the tube, lift the tab and pull off the coloured plastic lid. Remove the syringe and the plastic cap on the tip. The syringe is now ready to use. Midazolam can be given by either the buccal or nasal route. In buccal administration, midazolam is dripped slowly into the side of the mouth, between the cheek and the lower gum. In nasal administration, midazolam is dripped slowly into the nose. For buccal administration, the person will usually be lying down on their side so that saliva can drain away. Wipe away excess saliva from the outside of the person's mouth. Slide the syringe between the lower gum and cheek nearest to the ground. Slowly drip the midazolam in. When necessary, midazolam can be administered to a person sitting in a wheelchair or other upright position. Slide the syringe between the lower gum and the cheek and slowly drip half the midazolam into one cheek and half into the other. Some children and adults will be on small doses and the midazolam can be administered into one cheek. Midazolam is given into the nose if there is a lot of saliva coming out of the mouth or where it is likely that the person may spit or swallow midazolam due to their level of awareness. This route can also be used if there has been an injury to the mouth. When you are ready to give the midazolam, turn the person onto their back, slide some cushioning, for example, a pillow, a rolled up jacket or a bag under the shoulders to allow the head to tilt back slightly. Place the tip of the syringe onto a nostril entrance and administer the midazolam slowly into each nostril, alternating left and right one drop at a time. Once midazolam has been administered, you should always note the time you have given the midazolam and check the midazolam management plan to see what further action is required if the seizure or seizures do not stop. Sometimes a second dose may be prescribed or you may be advised to call 999. Once the seizure or seizures have stopped, stay with the person until they have fully recovered. Document what has happened appropriately. Used syringes can be safely disposed of by double bagging them and disposing of them in the general waste. It is not necessary to dispose of the used syringes in a sharp spin. If using a bottle of midazolam with four syringes, you may have more medicine than syringes. Syringes can be washed in warm soapy water. rinsed, left to dry naturally and replaced in the box. For advice about what should be included in good quality epilepsy and buccal midazolam training, there are the Epilepsy Specialist Nursing Association guidelines. Specific information about midazolam treatment and midazolam management plans can be given by your epilepsy specialist nurse. For general advice on epilepsy training, you can contact Epilepsy Scotland, Epilepsy Connections, or the William Quarrier Scottish Epilepsy Centre. This video has been developed in collaboration with the Scottish Paediatric Epilepsy Network and the William Quarrier Scottish Epilepsy Assessment Centre.